He was a businessman, soldier, historian, and mayor, and was also here well before the city of Brownsville was founded. Our Marlene Rodriguez takes us back. William Neal was born in 1807 in England. At 13 years old, he left home on a ship where he unintentionally became involved in a war. The ship went from there to the port of Veracruz and bombarded the port of Veracruz and started the revolution of Mexico with Spain, 1821. He then moved to Matamoros in 1834, where he began a state route from the lost city of Baghdad. From a windmill on the Mexican side of the river, he witnessed the bombardment of Fort Brown. Even back in the days of the, the Mexican War, uh, he was friends with General Ampudia, and he was also friends with Taylor. William Neal is considered one of the oldest inhabitants of Brownsville. He witnessed several wars, including the Civil War and the Cortina Wars. In the 19, 1834, you're talking two years before the Texas Revolution, you see, before the Battle of San Jacinto. After founding the town of Neilville, present-day Santa Maria, Neil experienced tragedy after Juan Cortina and his men burned his store, his journals that he kept for years, and killed his son. But that didn't break his spirit. He went on to fight in the Civil War, witnessing the burning of Fort Brown, and then fled to Matamoros after federal troops occupied the city. After the Civil War ended, he settled in Brownsville, where he served as mayor twice. William Neal was relied upon as being the, the, the knowledgeable old man throughout the period. And while Neal is long gone, his legacy and house remain. In Brownsville, Marlene Rodriguez, Local 23 News.